Hey everybody, how's it going? Uh, decided to create a video here today uh, to show you guys how to mix methanol. Shockingly, uh, when I uh, decided to go, to go the uh, methanol route as opposed to E85, uh, I couldn't find hardly any information at all on how to mix methanol. I googled, uh, I called, uh, I was actually really surprised at how few places here in the Dallas area actually sell it, which is almost no one. Um, I think it's called Smiley's out of Mesquite. That's where I got mine from. So I wanted to go over a couple things um, because even people who really seem to know a lot about you know math and things like that uh, told me, oh, just you know, uh, take a gallon of uh, distilled water and mix it with a gallon of methanol, and you got 50-50 ratio. Because as you can find out quickly by uh, googling on your own, 50% uh, water, 50% methanol is pretty much the ideal ratio. You can check on Snow Performance's website and they'll tell you the same thing. And so I thought, oh, okay, cool, no problem. Um, ran, into, ran into a few things. Uh, first of all, uh, methanol is uh, very dangerous. Um, if you get uh, even a spoonful in your, uh, you know, your body through drinking or something, uh, most of the time it will permanently blind you. Uh, when you mix it with water, um, it immediately becomes non-flammable. Uh, it also becomes non-poisonous uh, for the most part, you know, uh, like it won't catch your car on fire or anything. Um, and uh, it becomes much safer when you mix it with water. And then as far as the methanol injection cars on the, uh, kits on the car go, uh, the water is also uh, the cooling effect, uh, the biggest cooling effect. So um, I'll probably go into another video on why I chose methanol versus the 80, uh, over 85. Uh, there were a few reasons for that. Um, but for today, I'm going to focus on uh, mixing methanol. So what I wanted to talk about in this video was I was really surprised to find out that it is not actually as simple as mixing a gallon of distilled water with methanol. It's not that simple. That will not give you close to a 50% ratio. Um, also, you have to use distilled water as opposed to tap water. Uh, tap water will have all kinds of contaminants and stuff, uh, you know, that should show up in your uh, methanol system and clog your filters and stuff. So how do you mix it then? Um, and I actually found out that um, to get roughly a 50% a ratio of meth and water, you actually have to look at uh, a little bit of chemistry. All right? And so I had to create a little slideshow here. So first of all, a gallon of water is not equal to a gallon of methanol. A gallon is a measurement of volume. And when you start talking about mixing things uh, from a chemical perspective, you have to look at the weight, not the volume. So now we're going to talk about the weight of water and the weight of methanol to come up with roughly a 50% ratio of each one of them. Because again, that's the ideal ratio. So uh, how much does a gallon of water weigh? A gallon of water weighs 8.34 pounds approximately. A gallon of methanol weighs approximately 6.63 pounds. So how do you mix water and methanol to come up with roughly a 50% ratio. And the way that we do that, at least the way that I did it, and of course it doesn't matter how you do it as long as you come up with the same ratio, but this is what I did. I took five gallons of methanol and I used um, four gallons of distilled water, it's like a dollar a gallon at the Walmart, uh, to come up with five gallons times 6.63 and four gallons of 8.34 to come up with almost exactly a nice 50% ratio of methanol and water. Um, and so that's basically what I did. So um, I wanted to talk real quick about how I did that. So what techniques did I use to mix this methanol? Because again, it's very dangerous, uh, you know, until you mix it with water, which really calms it down from a chemical perspective. Um, it's pretty dangerous. You don't even want it on your skin. If you get it on your skin, you gotta wash it. Um, and honestly, for those of you out there who aren't really willing to do this, uh, you know, they sell that boost juice. You can Google that. Um, and, you know, it's basically, uh, I, think, um, I think it's about nine or $10 a gallon. Uh, depending on how much methanol you use, uh, that may last you a while. Um, I found out that it did actually last me quite a while, um, but I'd already bought this uh, five dollar or five gallon jug from uh, Wiley's out in Ski, so uh, you know I'm going to go ahead and use it. Uh, but some people go through methanol pretty quickly, so it just depends on how much you use it. 
Um, so the way that I did this from a safety precaution standpoint was um, I did a few things. Um, uh, you know, I bought this container here, which is a uh, hazardous, hazardous material uh, container that I got from Amazon. It was like 40 bucks. Um, it has a Loctite uh, edge uh, lid here. This is actually a special biohazard grade container, uh, highly certified, um, that will contain methanol. Uh, not all containers will. Some containers will, uh, it'll eat through it. Uh, in my case, this is actually a mixture of 50-50 water and methanol. And um, this is a, you know, a good container. We're going to invest in something that's going to be safe and everything. Uh, some people use windshield wiper fluid. That's almost comical. Uh, this is about 30% methanol uh, and a little dye. And then it's also got water in it. However, the downside is, is that, uh, again, ideal is 50-50 in terms of power. But here's the key to the whole deal. Once you calculate your mixture or you buy something off the shelf, you want to use your tuning abilities to tune the car to this particular ratio of methanol to water and stick to that. That's the most important thing you can get out of this whole deal. Uh, I chose 50-50 and this is what we went with. Boost juice is about 49% methanol and 51% water. Mine is maybe like the other way, 51% water and about 50, 49 something percent methanol. So you can see here, this is the five gallon container of methanol that I got from Wally's and Whiskey. Um, this thing right here, five gallons, 20 bucks. And uh, very cheap. Um, from my calculations, doing this myself, picture sure. Yeah, doing this myself um, works out to about four dollars, uh, about four dollars, five dollars a gallon of 50/50 methanol and water, compared to about nine, at least nine, when you count shipping and everything, of uh, say something like boost juice. Plus, this is a little bit higher content. So, anyway, that that's basically it. I just kind of wanted to go over uh, some information here that I could not find when I first started uh, out on my methanol. Uh, road. Um, I'll talk in another vi uh, video of why I went the methanol route personally as opposed to 85. Um, that's a very personal thing that varies you know geographically where you live things like that. So I'll talk about that in another video. For now if you have any questions about any of this, uh, especially this container right here that I got off of uh, Amazon, um, if anybody's interested I can post a link to this right here. Again it's very inexpensive, it's very safe, it's tough. This will, nothing will eat, you know, methanol will not eat through this at all, even pure methanol, even this is 50-50. Very nice container, it seals and everything. Um, or if you uh, want to know anything else about this video or the location to find this stuff or anything like that, uh, you know, just post on here in the comments and stuff like that and I'll, I'll provide that information. Thanks everybody.